Welcome to the uh, my first ever fantasy football lineup starts. See, let's get right into the league. I'm number one, and the in the uh, fantasy football fantasy Super Bowl week sixteen, and now I'm going to be setting my lineup. And I've never done anything like this, as I said at the top of the video. So this is uh, usually internal monologue everything and try to find a way to beat my opponent here. Now I've had Rob Gronkowski ever since he came out to buy. And before the buy, I had Rob Gronkowski. Oh my goodness gracious. Rob Gronkowski in. But this is the Super Bowl, fantasy Super Bowl. And I think I'm going to go with Tunyon here. He's been very, very consistent. He's been getting a touchdown every single week, you know, even every time they're in the red zone. Uh, number 12, he's looking his way. And I'm just going to duplicate those points when Aaron Rodgers at quarterback against a favorable Tennessee defense. So this one is going to be an interesting matchup. I see Kareem Hunt, they're fa uh, Browns and the Kareem Hunt. They're facing the Jets and the Kareem. No, Browns and Kareem Hunt are. Kareem Hunt and company are facing the Jets. It's, uh, there we go. I worded it better. So, obviously, I'm going to keep Kareem Hunt there. I know Jets just won, but Jets have, like, you know, put up a really great game against the Patriots, and then they didn't do so hot after that until they played the Raiders and then they played the Rams. So, I mean, the Jets have been all over the place, but I really feel confident with Kareem Hunt being there. Now, Dalvin Cook, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles just beat the Saints, and so I'm going to keep Cook starting, obviously, no matter what that in the red says. Cole Beasley's been going off with the Bills. He's been very consistent throughout these last number of weeks. I'm going to keep Cole Beasley there. Mike Evans, well, they played... Detroit, which is very, 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 very favorable. He's in, in green. Tom Brady is heating up. He really wants to get into the playoffs. And Jet or Detroit has to be the one to stop them. And now that, you know, essentially they get hot against Atlanta. Well, every team gets hot against Atlanta. So I shouldn't say every team. Most usually every team. Most usually teams get hot against Atlanta in a fourth quarter. So, but I'm going to keep Evans there. So my receivers, two starting running backs, two starting receivers are going to stay the same. I just switched my tight end, Nason, oh my God, Nelson Algalor against Miami. That is the tough Miami defense. Do I have another receiver? I do. Angus Carolina's D. Hmm. J.D. McKissick. This one is an interesting one. I'm going to take a fresh look in the receivers just to see who's there. Antonio Brown. Oh. Oh, I doing that thing again. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, Gage. Oh, then he. Oh, dang! I, dang, I should have took a, picked up Gage this past week. I figured with Julio Jones, they were gonna air the ball out, and they did just that. But against KC, that's gonna be hard to do. All right. Uh, I I really wanted. To, pick up Antonio Brown, but I already have Mike Evans. I mean, I guess he could stretch the ball around. He did catch a touchdown. Will he do it against Detroit, though? I mean, the game is on the line. The fantasy Super Bowl. Alright, did anyone drop anyone? Oh, they dropped Ronald Jones. And I just picked up a couple players like that, so... All right, yeah, let's take him. Let's take him. Drop of the Arizona defense. Mm -hmm. 
so uh and then Mason Crosby, he's been well been my go to and the Ravens have started to find playing defense. Which is so great. Alright, uh I think let's just look at the matchup. I have actually getting less points than when I did when I started uh Gronkowski, because I was favorable by one sixteen to one fifteen. But that's okay. It's Gronkowski what has ten points uh you know, projected and then yeah, Tunyon has eight points projected. So it's still a close match. We both have Browns running back, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Aaron Rodgers and Tannehill are facing one another, so that's gonna be interesting to see. And then I he might have the advantage because David Montgomery has been beasting the last four weeks. And uh, I don't know what Washington's defense is going to show up, so that one's going to be a lookout for. Um, oh, and he's getting upset. Is that uh, Justin Jefferson? I didn't want to say a different random uh, first name because I've been prone to do that growing up. But, I mean, I do have Mike Evans across, even though he's projected lower, only because the, the other receivers started to get attention. Chris Godwin and Tony Brown. So that may change during the Detroit game. Eric Ebron's questionable against Indianapolis, but it all depends on whether or not uh, Juju's going to dance on the Colts logo next. So uh, if the Colts might get... Like the Bengals energy just become a super team all of a sudden. Corey Davis, that one. Corey Davis does have the advantage. The Gravy's defense has been great for a few quarters. It hasn't been great for all the quarters. So, I mean, Ryan Tannehill and Corey Davis, he's probably going to bank on those double points right there. Ooh, the Raiders and Dolphins, that one's going to be... Like, he wants to, his kicker to score points on Dolphins, but then the Dolphins, you know, if they get scored on, they lose points. So that one's going to, I wonder if he's going to change that. He has Kylan Murray. Wow, he has a pretty good, solid lineup, too. So it's going to be interesting who, he's, who he is going to be able to uh, pick up. But that is, yeah, that is the process of going, um, picking my fantasy Super Bowl Matchup lineup and players picking up when that where uh the key areas where I need them and yeah this is pretty much the team I got it there with even on Tom rolled the bench most of the season obviously Aaron Rodgers <laughs> you know um I just had a very very good um weapons throughout the season all right thank you for um coming to this video and hopefully hopefully uh you know we get this dub you know we don't want in two maiden <laughs> so um yeah thank you thank you guys for uh checking the video out and uh may the elder gods watch over you